we have to find solutions to this. We can't turn away from what is evidently a moral failure in the face of the international community. I have just visited the European Gaza Hospital and the things I saw there is, is beyond anything that anyone should be in a position to describe. What shocked me the most were the children with atrocious injuries and at the same time having lost their parents with no one looking after them. I met people who have lost limbs because they needed to evacuate between treatments. I was told today that the North has lost its entire surgical capacity. We are facing a situation here that will not be healed by sending in more trucks. We need to provide protection to the civilians in Gaza to the women and children, to the elderly people that I saw today that have nowhere to go. We have to protect the rights of the people. We have to protect the rights of the civilians. We have to protect the rights of the detainees. We have to protect the rights of the hostages. The ICSC will do its utmost to help alleviate and reduce the suffering, but we can't do this alone. And there's not only a humanitarian solution to this. There must be a political one.